from Ireland. There is literally something being dropped from the sky right now. I'm right across from construction. <laughs> so I got in last night before I had a suitcase explosion and just put everything everywhere. I did a little room tour, so we're gonna pop that in here. I'm showing you in the nighttime because if I don't, it's gonna be all messed up tomorrow when I show you. <laughs> Here's the bathroom. Nice, like super cute, modern, big. I can't wait to shower and wash my hair right now, actually. Then, so this is like a, it seems kind of like a co-working hotel kind of thing. Like I was just downstairs in the bar area and there were like a lot of people down there hanging out. So that's cool. But it does have a kitchen, which is what I always look for if I'm staying for more than like a week because then you just you know, can cook and save some money eating healthier food and things. But there's this whole like wardrobe thing right here. Nice big bed and then it's separated off by a cute little sofa. But it seems pretty cool. It's called Zanzibar Lock. It had really good reviews and it seems kind of like it's on the elevator. I think it's that they have like their own workout classes and like seems pretty cool. So I'm excited to see what's happening here. So this morning I worked for a few hours. It's actually Thanksgiving today when I'm starting this vlog. So I had a quick revision I had to send off for video and then I did some links on Instagram for Black Friday. So that took a few hours and I signed up for a free walking tour in like an hour. So I'm gonna go grab some food and then do walking tour. I always love like whenever I get into a new city to do walking tour the first or second day if I can. And you kind of get to just like see and know the main things off the bat. So why do I look, am I looking blurry? No idea why, because we should be in focus here. I don't know, man. I'm gonna go grab some brunch. Actually, my friend, I'll put in her YouTube channel here. She is from Ireland. She was so kind and sent me like this long list. I trust her food recommendations and her coffee recommendations. And she sent me this long list of like food places and things to check out. I'm obsessed with this perfume. And by the way, my lip combo, this is what I've been wearing. One of my many variations iconic nude charlotte tilbury and then i love this color l'oreal 140 peach charm the formula of this is like a little bit thin like it's not my favorite feeling formula but i love the color it's just the prettiest color without being like too peach or too pink I ended up changing my jacket by the way, it's the same day. But the walking tour was so, so cold because it started pouring uh, about an hour in and it was a three hour walking tour. Everyone was like soaked, but then it got sunny. And then I walked back and I actually found this cute little health food, like pre-made kind of store. Oh, is this actually frozen? It feels frozen, didn't realize that. But it's fresh soup. This one is creamy white bean, potato leek and kale soup. This sounds so good right now. I could like chug this, but a fresh green juice, green dream, spinach, lime, ginger, celery, apple, cucumber, sweet and spicy, pineapple, lemon, and ginger. I might go work downstairs. There's a few people down there right now in like the co-working kind of space. Mm. I also want to unpack everything. I haven't yet, but at the same time, I'm pretty sure I am switching rooms in, they said three days, they have a different one opening up. This one, there's a construction zone right there. The whole morning when I was working, it was like quite loud and just for filming and stuff, I was like, mm, maybe I should see, because I am here, I didn't say for a week and a half. Yeah, they said I could switch to a room with a view of the water. So I was like, hell yeah. He said it'll open up in three days, so. Life hack, my mom taught me this. Put your hood up before you take off your purse. So much easier. <laughs> Hands are thawing out. Just imagine it's turkey. So one of you sent me a DM saying that I need to go to Bray and I looked it up. It looks so pretty. It's only a 45 minute train ride and it's like on the coast. There's a beach and she sent me like some restaurant recommendations. So thank you so much. I'm going to go do that. I decided I was working this morning for a couple hours and it's sunny out right now. So I'm like, I feel like this would be a good, good day. Hopefully it doesn't change because I know the, <laughs> the weather here, like it's raining one minute, sunny. 10 seconds later. Hopefully the sun stays with me, but I'm gonna walk to the train station. So gonna head out, got my Amazon beanie on. I self tanned last night. This is the tanner. I've heard people like rave about this. I think there's a foam version too, but this is actually like a gel kind of lotion. 
and I got the medium shade. I got this for 10 pounds in Edinburgh. And it goes on really even. I like the color, it doesn't look like orangey. This lighting is really yellow by the way, but like a natural lighting doesn't look orangey, doesn't get streaky. So if I were only applied it here up though, cause obviously I'm not wearing like dresses or shorts or anything right now. And then for foundation, I have on the Tower 28 Sunny Days SPF, tinted SPF 30. Love this stuff, so pretty. I put a little bit of the essence powder just like on my chin, nothing on my forehead. I've been really liking just like light eye makeup lately. Okay, heading out. Well, um, Kilrethery was closed online on Google. It said it was open, but I guess check their website if you're coming because she said they're closed, like, except for Saturday and Sunday when they do their Christmas market, which would have been so cute, but they still have a restaurant open and a little coffee shop. And these back roads are so beautiful. But look at this. I'm still glad I came. Pigs. It says there's pigs over here. Didn't end up seeing the, the actual house and gardens. The best lawless lip mask. So good, I'm like half out of this. Okay, so I upgraded my earrings one of them i'm wondering what you guys think this one but ignore my red ears and this is burns i always get comments about it there's nothing i can do they're just they look ugly but they're ear burns for my hot back so just ignore that but this is my current little stack or whatever you want to call it so this was from the store in Paris. These super cute black dangly guys are from this store right here. It was actually their opening day, One Dame Lane, and I got my friend some earrings that I'm hoping. She was texting me about needing to find and wanting help finding dangly earrings for her wedding day. I hope she's gonna like these. If she doesn't, I'm gonna be like, you know, no pressure, seriously, don't wear these on your wedding day if you don't want to but they're real pearls and I think she's gonna really like them, I hope so. And the lady was saying, this vlog's going up after I give them to her by the way, but the lady was saying that they're real pearls and I guess pearls are good for wedding days because they like soak up the energy of the day or something like that, I don't know. She said some sentimental nice, nice thing and I was like, wow, I like that, okay. Here they are, really pretty little dangly. I think she'll like them because She's wearing her hair like half up, half down, and I think these will look really pretty, and they look like, they look like her, but I ended up picking up <laughs> a couple earrings for myself, obviously. Anyway, so the black ones are from there. These ones are actually from Target. They haven't been turning colors yet. I'll link them down below. It doesn't say they were plated or anything. I was like, I'm just gonna wear these until they turn colors. They haven't been irritating my ears or turning colors, the little chain hoops. And then these studs, I have no idea, probably some, piercing shop i just like always have studs and then this one okay so i'm wondering if i should keep this here i think it'll look cool like when i have my hair up and stuff it's a statement one you know i think i like it but i'm wondering i could also switch it to here that's where i just had it before and it kind of goes up like that but and then this one i didn't change any oh wait this one is the other one i got in paris and then these ones are elevado let's get asked about my jewelry and 
Actually on Instagram, I've recently updated the links on the jewelry highlight. A lot of these are from just random stores at this point. Like these ones are Jordan. Like this one I have linked below and on Instagram. Etsy rings, Hannah and Naomi. Any of the jewelry that I can link, I have linked on my Instagram. This one, this one I can't link. These are both my grandma's. This is Miranda Fry. I get asked about this one a lot, but it was discontinued. Any of the bracelets with this little tag are Miranda Fry. I do have a code with Miranda Fry. It's Taylor Wynn, but this does not turn colors. Same with Ana Luisa. I love Ana Luisa jewelry. It doesn't turn colors. I wear Ana Luisa earrings a lot, and then I also actually just ordered for their Black Friday. They were having buy one, get one 60% off, and I ordered a couple more bracelets. I just ordered Bunsen Burger. This was a recommendation from my friend Tara. And I'm so excited. This looks bomb. This is the first thing I'm eating all day. It's like 5 p.m. because I had a migraine the whole day. So I'm excited. Hey you guys, I just moved rooms. It's a couple days later and I'm so happy and so excited. So look, this is the new bathroom. It's, it's even bigger, but wait till you see. <laughs> oh my God, it's so beautiful. So there's the same setup over here, that over here. What we really care about, wait till you see this first of all brick wall love it full water view oh my god so insane I'm so happy i switched and just asked i didn't care at all they were like yeah sure we have a water view oh my god beautiful and this is gonna be so pretty at night with like the christmas lights there's some stuff on along the river that gets like lit up and all the buildings and look we have sunlight coming in same kitchen setup on this side i think the ceilings are even taller in here because i don't think the other room had that other row up there these are yeah these are like super vaulted i think the last the last few days i haven't vlogged because i've been not feeling well and working and i literally haven't left the apartment like the first time I left the apartment was today to switch rooms to a new apartment. <laughs> I haven't done a lot of exploring yet besides Bray. Are we seeing this? I've never been more excited. I found a burrito. It looks promising. It got really good reviews and they have refried beans. So those are all good signs, folks. I also got a side of, it looks like they're refried black beans, but. Oh my god, I gotta take a photo. Look at this beauty. Smells promising. Jalapenos. It's good. It's um, it's good. <laughs> Not amazing. Bears can't be choosers, you know. I think I've looked exactly the same in this entire vlog, but you know, the outfit is back. And the cereal time. There's nothing better than a bowl of cereal, am I right? Any time of day. I think I want to go to the Immigration Museum. I've heard really good things and it's like walking distance. So I'm going to walk over there, found a good lunch spot to check out. I feel like one of the best things to do when you're traveling is look ahead of time, like in the morning or whatever, and just save the places that you want to eat at. So when you're out and you're hangry, you can just easily find somewhere good and then you don't like waste a meal on a bad place. But the new room is so nice. I'm so happy I was able to switch. Like I'm literally just looking out at the water right now. It's so pretty, love it. It's like big, spacious, has a good vibe, natural light, 10 out of 10. on my vitamin C serum I love this underneath makeup now I'm gonna do my SPF Glossier invisible shield this is a good one if you want like a gel really nice under makeup too absorbs in well figured it would catch up a bit so the last four days I think it's been I have just been in bed my injections are fully worn off now I'm headed back to Seattle after this 
and I have my next injection appointment, but I can always tell before Paris, but yeah, usually I get like a solid month with the injection. So, I mean, they're fully worn off now and I'm just not feeling great. So just pushing through the next week before I can get the injections. I only have a few days left in Dublin though. So I'm just fingers crossing that my body takes a turn for the better and I can go see. I really obviously want to see clips of Moher, Moher, like number one on my list. And then I have a couple other like day trip things I was looking at, but they're like all day, like 13 hour kind of things. And when you're not doing well, that's a little rough. So that's the situation. But today gonna try to do the Guinness factory or storefront whatever they call it i think they do like a guided tour and everyone like raves about it and i really want to go to this park that's like famous for having deer just everywhere and it looks really pretty it's a bit further away though so i have to figure out the bus situation because i haven't taken the bus yet everywhere is like very close in dublin that i've been going so i've just been walking everywhere just put on the elastin tinted spf i love this stuff but if you get this you have to use it with your fingers it's way better with your hands than it is with anything else ponytail just got large and in charge not much to update here but so far from what i've seen dublin is cute and obviously there's so much more to see outside of i know ireland's like insanely beautiful so i definitely want to come back to ireland at some point like with someone and rent a car and do like a full you know outdoorsy kind of road trip i think that would be awesome this is the milk makeup concealer i love this for all over the face or underneath the eyes by the way i'm staying in dublin the whole time the reason i don't bounce around is because i've noticed that having for me one base for a longer period of time even if i it makes like the day trips harder it's usually better because it's just like less pulling suitcases less trains less everything just getting around just like stay in one place for a week and a half and then go places from there it's different if you have someone with you like if i had help with my bags and if i you know, I'm doing it all on my own. So for me and my situation, it's definitely better to be just in one place for a little bit longer. Cheers to going outside today. <laughs> I'm gonna finish getting ready and I'll see you guys wherever we end up today. It's a big day because I'm wearing not only one, but two things I packed and I haven't worn yet. This jacket, I think this was from, I wanna say Boohoo or Nasty Girl. I'm going Boohoo, like a couple years ago. I have it in black too. And then I have on the usual Nike's leggings. So I decided it, I think I'm going to Two Pups. It was one of Tara's recommendations for like breakfast, lunch, brunch. <laughs> breakfast lunch brunch there's a word for that brunch it's like a 15 minute walk so i'm gonna walk there and then it's like towards the guinness storefront so i'm gonna do that okay that was legit the best toast i've ever had <laughs> now i'm walking to guinness i don't know if i'm in the best area i just saw someone getting handcuffed vlogging in the bathroom but this is actually unbelievable <laughs> seven stories you have to come here i understand why there's like forty-seven thousand, almost five star reviews it's super cool there's a whole tasting you have to do the tasting experience is included in the ticket wow i'm impressed super glad i end up coming here is so peaceful just walking through the park i bet in the summer this gets like so busy but it's so good the air is like nice and crisp in fall too okay that was honestly so cool they're coming to dublin 
you gotta come here. It's a little bit far out, but so cool. But now I'm walking to the park and I'm gonna find some food.